14.2.1 basically is showing the the orthogonal relationship and so that required to go back to the Bessel equation which uh, copy it down. and because this is a, this is a the Bessel function with a k times x as the argument to so use that equation, which is uh, 14 point 14 point 15. Going back to 14 point 15, the the Basel equation. Let's let's uh, use the uh, use the notation as the question because it's using x instead of rho. So it's x square, v square, v x square. Now you have a v, and we can uh, use j instead of z. Just just like your question, because uh, j is one of the I mean, special equation by percent, but this is easy. It can be a J or Y or H, X1 or H2. Okay, so these are basal functions, not modified basal functions. Modified functions, basal functions, you need to change the sign of K squared. Okay, just uh, using J instead of Z. J, U, and then plus K square, X square, minus U square, and then multiply by K So the argument is KX instead of just K, okay? that therefore you, you get a K in here. Okay, and the question we involve um, involve multiplying two basal two basal function with different k, and then integrating integrating that uh, over a range and zero to a uh, of of uh, of the the range of of x. Right, and so because uh, you're integrating j rather than the multiplied x, uh, uh, you can rewrite this one by changing the, dividing by x squared over the whole equation. Let's just write one more time, just divided by x squared. Because we want to get the k squared out. Um, or maybe I can actually move k squared to the answer after you divide it by x to get the k squared or minus k squared to the answer. That just become one of x. And then I will move that to the other side, but uh, I'll keep this one minus u squared to x squared. Minus k squared. Okay, so the f is in divided by k x square, but by divided by x square, so that becomes just a k square. All right. Now the the, the idea is uh, you want to. So you multiply this equation. So it's multiplied by this equation with uh, j nu pi. Actually, nu is the same nu, but not the pi is in the k in the k k pi, right? 
whole thing, whole equation multiplied by uh, j pi x. Actually, not just k pi x plus x, uh, x times k pi j induced k pi x. Whole equation, both sides. I mean, uh, this notation just means you integrate that. Multiply this this function to both the left hand side and right hand side, and and then integrate that uh, um, c into a. Okay, so you're you're doing that. So this equals that, but you multiply by both sides of this one and integrate c to from c to a on both sides, and. So that is why you can do that. And the idea is uh, you write another equation just like that, but in the change k and k prime. So you know, basically just write another equation, just like here, because uh, whatever you want to call it k or k prime is arbitrary. You want to, that's a, that's a choice to call it k and, and call, call k k prime or k prime to k. So that is arbitrary. You can just write down the same equation with k prime becomes k. This k becomes k, k becomes k prime. Okay. Other thing like the mu is the same because we are using the same meal in the whole product. This, this is J new, this is also J new. It, only the argument, one is K, the other is K prime. This becomes K prime. K becomes K prime. Right. When you do that, uh, you have two equations, but then you subtract the uh, two. Subtract one from the other. Uh, which one from which it doesn't really matter. Which, well, it doesn't matter. You only get a sign difference. Right. And obviously, the, the right hand side is uh, because this is J new K pi X. This is J new K X. You multiply it together. This is j new k x, this is j new k prime x. So the integration part is the same. The only thing different is uh, this is k multiplied by k squared, this is multiplied by k prime squared. And so you can write it out, take this out. This is k squared minus k prime squared. And you have the negative sign in front to integrate 0 to a x g x. Okay, so that is the that is the left hand side of the required equation in in the question, except the minus sign other than this. Okay, now you need to work out the the left hand side here, right? And And uh, the idea is to see, how, see if you can simplify this thing to the right hand side of the, the question, right? And we do that, uh, we can try something. Most likely integration by part. So, and well, first, first is uh, one one more simplification is uh, this term. This term doesn't contribute because uh, there's no k in here. This is j nu k x. So j nu k prime x. This is j nu k x. This is j nu k prime x. So when this you subtract one from the other, this term is in this term, this two can cancel. This one cancel. 
Okay, that can always win. It's similar to this situation, but this multiplier k, so you have k square minus k pi square. But for this one, you don't have k in here. So the two term cancel. Right. And now uh, you yeah, just work on the first two terms. Right. For this one, uh, this one is looks like a wrong scheme. Right. You have uh, x. Uh, x multiplied by, I mean, x divided by x tends to the x becomes j nu. And then this is derivative of, of j nu. But the only, the only difference is that they are with the, one is k, the other is k prime. Yeah. But uh, that c matter, right? Uh, why don't you? Uh -huh. that, Getting maybe too complicated. Do I have to include everything? Okay. Let's just write our set uh, explicitly. So, uh, for the second one, uh, there's no x. There's no x in here. So, so it's just an x. And then ddx is here. Let's just write it out. Let's include the x also. x j new. And then second derivative. J new. And then minus the same thing. But that's just a this minus that would be this one, right? So that's the first term, yeah. the x is here. And we'll figure out how to simplify it. But this one is uh, the same, this, uh, except you don't have x, x uh, cancel of this x, so you have a g, a from x, x. And the minus J This is this is from the working So that's the true subtraction. And now the the idea is you can take the you can do integration by parts and write this as First, a total derivative. Just consider this two term first, and we'll work on this a little later. For this two term, you can write a ddx. Um, combine the two. To, Well, when do integration by part, basically turning one to the other. Okay. When you combine the two, this one will have a minus two. What you have a minus two? Okay. I just wondered whether we, we simplify. Make simplification if you do that. 
Because it's, it's not a plus. You actually get um, two of them actually in the secret. In the in the main test, it's, it's give you some idea. Well, maybe this one is a little because the one, let, let's work on this, see if it, uh, if we just use this thing, we can do the X of, uh, J new. Dx, J mu Kx, and then minus the uh, because uh, you you want to get this to a total to I mean there's an x minus and minus Dx, J mu Dx. This. Take the duty of that and recover that, but the take the duty of that you want to cancel that. So X. That's the first term. And then the second term is do the same. Minus J K this is a minus or minus plus plus dx. And the duty of that J mu kx. And then uh, dx of J mu k minus. Oh, maybe I, my, my, uh, I didn't close the bracket right. This, this one goes to this one. This basically integrate uh, the derivative of this one. And then minus, minus this one, you still have, you still need x. Minus x of that. And this one is, uh, but this one is minus BBX. And there's an X here. I'm pressing X. Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, more like it. Um, but the idea is that uh, this one will cancel. Because both are, both are the same. Right? This one, this, the derivative of this one, that's basically interchanging these two terms, just two, one has, one is negative sign, it's positive sign. So that, this one cancels with this one. Now, uh, we will do an integration by part. Uh, but this one, the this two term, combine it to this two term. And then uh, you have the, the boundary term is this one minus this one and multiply by x and evaluate from zero to x. And then minus the derivative of x, which will give you one and multiply by this one. And this minus that is basically that one. 
right? Yeah, J new K X can do the X this one. Or oh, oh, I should say, I mean, this another way to look at it. So, so this one and that one, basically you can combine or you can get each other. Now we'll cancel this one, get the DDX operator, both turn and close the bracket this one. Right? And this one minus this one, that's the same as this one minus this one. So this is the same as that. Right? You see that? Right? He said, okay, this one, this last term, this two term combined is the same as this two term. Right? Except that this multiplied by x and dv. So then uh, you can see that you combine this one to this one, you can write as a total derivative. So combine this two as dx. X times this one. This is times dx. So new kx minus j new x dx. J new kx. Okay, so combine this and that. Now you have total. Right now, with a total unity, we just we, after you do the integration dx, you just get this part evaluate uh, from zero to a, and at zero you have this x factor, so it's zero, and then all these are uh, all these functions are well behaved at c at uh, x equals zero, right? Uh, so the zero term cancel or zero term uh, zero term limit is. Zero, so you just get the upper, upper limit after you do the integration. So that will give you not too much space. That will give you just the upper limit, which is a times k nu. Well, that in writing that, you need to be a little careful. This is such a function, but what you want to evaluate that this. The derivative of this function is the derivative of this argument and take the derivative of the argument. So this is j nu pi k times x. We evaluate at, at, at a k times a, and then you need to multiply k up. Right? Do you understand? So usually we define a j nu pi as the derivative of the argument, but this is derivative over just x. So okay, basically you multiply by k here in the denominator and multiply by k in the numerator. So you have extra k in the denominator and write this one as j pi, j nu pi, right? What we have is k pi a, like I said, you multiply k down, it becomes j nu pi. Pi means, uh, this pi means derivative. So that's the first term. And something similar, it's J new K. Yeah. J new K A. And now this one has a K prime in here, so you might K prime. And J new prime K prime A. Right, and that should uh, that should be the right hand side of the question, except the minus sign because you have this. So this is this equals to that is the same as the what is asked for the question. Okay, so that's the first part. That's the first part that uh, when k not equals to k prime, when k not or k I mean may or may not equals to k prime, right? So that this equation applies for even k equal k prime, but uh, in order to get the integration of j nu when when k equal k prime, uh, you need to take the limit as well. Just uh, that is that the second part. Okay, but is that okay? So 
uh, Sean asks, Sean, is it okay? Can you follow all the uh, arguments? <clears throat> yeah, that looks okay. Okay, so uh, I, I recorded it. I will post it uh, the lecture on the blackboard later. So you can, if you didn't follow it, <laughs> I mean, uh, the main problem is uh, when you get to this, get to this is straightforward. You need to struggle a little bit to get to a you know, total derivative. Uh, you play around in it, they finally get to a total derivative. And so then uh, they get the, get the required result. Now the second part is uh, when k equal k prime set k equal k prime and do this integration. But then the, the uh, factor in front becomes zero. So you want, you want this value, you need to divide it by zero, which is not good. But uh, obviously, this square bracket is also zero because uh, when k is equal to k prime and k equal to k prime, the two terms are exactly the same, so they also cancel. So, uh, so basically, you divide this to here, get the general result. And then when k equal k prime, you need to take the limit, take the basically the duty of the left hand side and right hand side. So you can write down the general result here. So zero to a, a zero to a. Basically, you have x, j mu, a x, a x, j mu, a prime x. So that is that is this one. That is uh, the genuine result is that uh, you divide a square minus k prime square. So, so put the get rid of the negative sign. So you flip the sign over here. Uh, then uh, the right hand side is a in here. And you have this term first. Then you have it. K prime, J new K A, J new K prime, A, J new prime, K prime, A, minus K, J new K prime, A, J new prime, A. Okay. And that is uh, the general result when the uh, k not equal k prime that you can divide by k square minus k prime square. When they are the same, you take the limit. K x k new k x square is equals to basically a. You take a derivative with respect to either k or k prime, yes, uh, it doesn't matter because we we want to write the right hand side as k, so most likely you will just pick the, with respect to k prime and then set k prime per k, so that uh, so the, the final result only depends on k. So let's pick d d k prime of this, this uh, square bracket. And we need to keep track of, the, of all the dependency on uh, on k prime. Which is uh, you have a k prime here, you have a k prime here, and then another k prime. Okay, so we need to take the duty of all that. And the new uh, denominator. Only dependency is uh, minus k prime squared, so the unit is uh, minus two k prime. Okay, and then set k prime after the unit set k prime. Okay, like in the episode, we do. Okay, now. Uh, Carry on the integration of the derivatives. So a. So you should have three terms. One is a uh, derivative over 
of this cake pine. So you just get the get rid of this cake pine. So you have two new K A and J new pi. Now K now you can set K pi equals equals to K after the duty. Okay, so you get the uh, get rid of that. And uh, then the duty over this one. Uh, which is uh K pine times this K pine now can change the K. K, K A. And take the duty of that one, meaning so you multi take the duty of the argument, now become double pine, and then take the duty over the, the argument is uh with respect to K pines, so we get it. So set the A out. You get the A. J U double prime. And now you can set K prime to K. So that is this one. Take a duty of and finally take a duty of this one. Uh, let's work out the denominator here. So and then minus K J K A. Oh no, the J new prime. K A and take the duty with respect to the argument. Let's see what that is. Uh, so that is that. that, is that. Um, that should be it. Uh, that's it. That would be the limit. And uh, it's not exactly the form as your textbook. I assume that the textbook will uh, maybe using the best equations here and get rich of the I mean it's, uh, get rich of the double point. Uh, assume will happen. Okay. Uh, Or well, you can go back to the another vessel equation because this is this is not exactly the same as this is a derivative of the, of the x. Or you can multiply it by k k square in the denominator and multiply by k square throughout. So you can go to the the best equation that it seems depends on the k that we get give you the k points so like uh, 14 point 14 so j new double pi let's just write it here so j new double pi will be equals to Put everything to the, the other side. Minus J new pi divided by this. And plus new square minus new square over x square. Because you divided by, by x square. Mm -hmm. This is moving to the other side, so it's minus J. So that's from equation fourteen point fourteen. Okay, so let's be when this have double point you change it to here and divided by x x the arc x is the argument which is k a. Right. So if you do that uh, this term you probably can write specifically this one divided by 
Ka and have a minus sign. This becomes J nu prime Ka. And cancel Ka in here. The dot two will cancel this two. The first term in here will cancel with this one. Right. So only thing left is the, this one. And then uh, that's this way. Right? Minus a is a two k, and this one already cancel with this one. The first term, only the second term. So you have to, um, whatever in front is k a times j nu k a. So that's what what in front, and then this one becomes this one. So it becomes nu square over k square a square. Minus one and multiply by j nu k a. The that is this one. This one becomes this one. And then uh, you have minus k a. This two are uh, just the same. K nu square j nu pi square k a. Um, which is very close to what uh, we have. Uh, so this two, this this palm two is square. So one one of the you want just way it more compact is square. This you have j nu, the other k square a square minus one. Uh, you have minus sign, so you can flip the sign. That doesn't matter. And uh, this k can multiply inside, or, or mul you can pull k, k times a out, cancel with this, this k, this become a square over two. This minus sign for inside become one minus u square over k square a square. And for this one, minus sign inside become plus, and k a getting out, you get the cancel k, you get a square over two. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is what is required. That's me. Okay. <laughs> so um, that's uh, that's it. But second step is it okay online, uh, Sean. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. The last step. <laughs> okay, so that's how we get the the, the second part of the, the question.